September 23rd. Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible. Isaiah chapter 66 from the Old Testament. This is what the Lord says. The heavens are my throne and the earth is my footstool. Where then is the house you will build for me? Where is the place where I will rest? My hand made them. That is how they came to be, says the Lord. I show special favor to the humble and contrite who respect what I have to say. The one who slaughters a bull also strikes down a man. The one who sacrifices a lamb also breaks a dog's neck. The one who presents an offering includes pig's blood with it. The one who offers incense also praises an idol. They have decided to behave this way. They enjoy these disgusting practices. So I will choose severe punishment for them. I will bring on them what they dread because I called and no one responded. I spoke and they did not listen. They did evil before me. They chose to do what displeases me. Hear the word of the Lord, you who respect what he has to say. Your countrymen who hate you and exclude you supposedly for the sake of my name say may the Lord be glorified. Then we will witness your joy, but they will be put to shame. The sound of battle comes from the city. The sound comes from the temple. It is the sound of the Lord paying back his enemies. Before she goes into labor, she gives birth. Before her contractions begin, she delivers a boy. Who has ever heard of such a thing? Who has ever seen this? Can a country be brought forth in one day? Can a nation be born in a single moment? Yet as soon as Zion goes into labor, she gives birth to sons. Do I bring a baby to the birth opening and then not deliver it? Asks the Lord. Or do I bring a baby to the point of delivery and then hold it back? Ask your God. Be happy for Jerusalem and rejoice with her, all you who love her. Share in her great joy, all you who have mourned over her. For you will nurse from her satisfying breast and be nourished. You will feed with joy from her milk-filled breast. For this is what the Lord says, Look, I am ready to extend to her prosperity that will flow like a river. The riches of nations will flow into her like a stream that floods its banks. You will nurse from her breast and be carried at her side. You will play on her knees. As a mother consoles a child, so I will console you, and you will be consoled over Jerusalem. When you see this, you will be happy, and you will be revived. The Lord will reveal his power to his servants and his anger to his enemies. For look, the Lord comes with fire, his chariots come like a windstorm to reveal his raging anger, his battle cry, and his flaming arrows. For the Lord judges all humanity. With fire and his sword, the Lord will kill many. As for those who consecrate and ritually purify themselves so they can follow their leader and worship in the sacred orchards, those who eat the flesh of pigs and other disgusting creatures like mice, they will all be destroyed together, says the Lord. I hate their deeds and thoughts, so I am coming to gather all the nations and ethnic groups. They will come and witness my splendor. I will perform a mighty act among them and then send some of those who remain to the nations, to Tarshish, Pol, Lud, known for its archers, Tubal, Javan, and to the distant coastlands that have not heard about me or seen my splendor. They will tell the nations of my splendor. They will bring back all your countrymen from all the nations as an offering to the Lord. They will bring them on horses, in chariots, in wagons, on mules, and on camels to my holy hill Jerusalem, says the Lord. Just as the Israelites bring offerings to the Lord's temple in ritually pure containers. And I will choose some of them as priests and Levites, says the Lord. For just as the new heavens and the new earth I am about to make will remain standing before me, says the Lord, so your descendants in your name will remain. From one month to the next and from one Sabbath to the next, all people will come to worship me, says the Lord. They will go out and observe the corpses of those who rebelled against me, for the maggots that eat them will not die, and the fire that consumes them will not die out. All people will find the sight abhorrent. God, the 66th uh, chapter in this book 
that mimics so much like the 66 books of the Bible that Isaiah covers so many of the areas that the whole Bible does. In this end, definitely talking about the hypocrisy we have um, and the false idols and that we have been given a choice. We've been given a choice of the right way to live a life and the wrong way to live a life. And you've made really clear those consequences between the two. And so often, and I know this because I've done this and I still do this, um, we straddle. We have one foot on the good side and one foot on the bad side. And you're really clear here that if, if I keep part of me in that old life, if I keep part of me in that desire to continue to seek to be sinful, um, that that cancels out the other things I'm doing. Um, doesn't mean I lose my salvation once I have it. It just means that that's not how you want us to, li to live our lives. And so often we do this for a variety of reasons, to keep up appearances, what other people will think, um, sometimes in all honesty, to keep our sanity, um, or that's what we tell ourselves, but to keep our sanity of, um, well, at least I go to church. Well, at least I read the Bible. Well, at least I pray to God. And you're really clear that you say they have decided to behave this way meaning we choose this it's not something that you're choosing for us we chose to act in this two-sided way and then you say they enjoy these disgusting practices and there must be something that lures us back um, for completely selfish reasons at least in my life um, of those things that lure us back into that but the exact next sentence says so i will choose severe punishment for them I will bring on them what they dread because I called and no one responded. I spoke and they did not listen. God today allow us to take a look at our lives and one ha provide us the strength for all the things we know we need to get rid of. Part two of that is show us the things that we're not knowing aren't good about us. And we all have those things, whether it's because we've hidden them so far inside of us or we just really don't have a clue. I know that because you've done it to me in the past, I know you can unveil those things to us and allow us an opportunity to work on those and walk in the right path with those. So God, please, as you've promised in your Bible and your word to us, that you will give us strength in those times that, that we need it, that we ask for it. So give us strength to break free of those selfish choices we want to make. And then part two of that, allow us to see the things that we are still missing. Um, because we want to change those things. We want to please you, not displease you, as Isaiah goes on to talk about. God, only by pleasing you do we know that we reflect your glory in our lives. And it's only by living a life that reflects you that we can be honoring to you for the sacrifice that your son made for our lives. In your son's name we pray. Amen.